What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If and you're welcome to the guy car. Well, yeah, welcome to our tiny car. We were just laughing because you can tell how small the car is from this angle. Anyways, if you're new here, my name is Izzy and this is Chris and we are currently in Western Australia. We just left Rottnest Island. If you missed that vlog, make sure you check it out because it was a lot of fun. It's such a cool place in the world. And now we are driving towards Margaret River where we're spending the next two nights. It's kind of like wine country in like, it's like far south of Perth. It's so stunning here. It's so different from the East Coast. It's way more like arid, dry. Yeah, untouched fluffy. almost. It yeah. yeah, it's so pretty here. We almost just hit a kangaroo earlier and kind of like <laughs> ran out on the road. It wasn't actually a close call or anything, but it was the first close up kangaroo that I've seen this trip. And of course, we only in the wild. hit it with our car. Yeah, other than the ones we fed at the zoo. Oh, the ocean. Let me show you the view that we just got. Okay, we just pulled in to have a little look at this surf break called North Point in Grace. Gracetown. Yeah. Gracetown. There's pretty big waves out there, lots of surfers. Look at this nice. Shit, look at oh, that. Oh, that's a good wave. Stunning. For reference, look at him. <laughs> He's so small. <laughs> it's called a picanto. Meet me. Okay, we just pulled into another surf spot to check it out because it is pumping. These waves are <laughs> actually huge. Okay, we just arrived at our Airbnb. It's really, really cute. Give you a little tour. It's like a little loft. So there's this room little cozy living room area and there's a kitchen and we were just looking and that's the stove so if we cook something tomorrow it should be interesting and then there's like a little back patio area and then up this adorable winding staircase that's where the bedroom is up there i'm not tall enough and then the bathroom's in there the staircase is pretty tiny for a giant Wait, I want to see you come down it. Forwards or backwards? <laughs> I don't know. Whichever way is safer. <laughs> Do you have to duck? Watch your head. Oh, it's pretty small. <laughs> okay, I'm going up. Oh. Oh, it's so cozy. Small bed. <laughs> Your feet are hanging off the edge. Oh, <laughs> cute. Okay, we're back in the bowling ball on wheels and we're gonna go. What are we doing? Gonna do some wine tastings. But we saw this really cool like meat shop, so we're gonna stop in there first. Yes, I ate the kangaroo meat, and yes, I'm upset about it. It was pretty tasty though. We are just popping into this little winery called Grace Farms. It's so cute, look at all the vines are changing colors. And the sun's out, it's such a nice day. Okay, we just stopped in, picked up some pizzas. We actually went very far out of the way to get pizza because the other place that I wanted to go to that had gluten-free pizza was closed. Chris is not the biggest fan of me right now because I made us drive really far. And, but we're going to like one of my favorite, favorite places in the entire world for sunset. And it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good one, so I'm really excited. Okay, this is the vibe right now. There are seagulls looming on our pizza. Looks so good. We got a carbonara pizza and like a fiorda latte pizza, which I think is basically like margarita pizza. This is the sunset. There's surfers out there. It's so stunning. This is like one of my favorite spots in the absolute world. I shot like right here three years ago and I love it. First bite, verdict. Another ridiculous gluten-free base. Yeah, they really have it figured out here, don't they? Yeah. 
such a nice sunset. This is our little setup. I have the tripod ready. We're gonna do some couple photos. It's gonna be cute. Okay, we got the content. We're heading back up to the car. Sunset was stunning. But we're like getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, so time to jet. We'll finish the pizza in the car <laughs> or at home. We just got back to our humble abode and we're eating the last of the za. And the sun sets so early here, so we have to occupy ourselves with Netflix until we go to bed. We could go to the pub. You wanna go to the pub? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Netflix it is. We are back at the Airbnb. We're watching Manifest. Chris is making tea. We're in this habit of drinking English breakfast tea in the evenings with his parents at home. Probably not good for me, it probably keeps me up late, but it's delicious, so here we are. Oh, my face is really puffy. Good morning from the, I think that's not an entry. Yeah, that is, okay, hi. Good morning from the bowling ball. We got up early go this <laughs> Sorry, the go-kart. Yeah, we're up nice and early, but not really that early because the sun rises so late here, but it's just after seven and we're just driving down to the beach to catch the sunset and the clouds are pretty epic. So I'll have to give you a look in a second. is really good too and the rain stopped so we're in luck the bowling ball <laughs> it was literally like an absolute river down here it was yeah it was literally a murder river the leaves it got stuck down there crazy okay we just popped into the grocery store to pick up some charcuterie stuff so we can have a little snack later in between wine tastings the cheese section here is always lit and you can do this little like mixed cheese packs so that you can get like, these little tiny ones, three for nine bucks. So that's what we're gonna do. So we went with a sharp cheddar, some double brie, almond and apricot. Oh, and we got some olives, obviously, and some baby tomatoes and some carrots. And we need, we need crackers. And what? Didn't we pass the dips? Some coffees. Chris already finished his. We're just watching the surfing at Surfers Point again, and the clouds are starting to roll in. So I think our good weather luck is coming to an end. But there's a really pretty rainbow out there. Okay, we are back at the Airbnb, and I'm just trying to curl my hair. I honestly should have washed it because it's kind of. It's not really like that dirty. It's more just that I swam in the seawater two days ago and now it's like really salty so it doesn't curl very well. Anyways, thank you. Chris just went and got my dress out of the car for me. I'm gonna wear like a cute little dress and sneakers and hopefully I'm not too cold today. It's like 15 degrees probably, maybe a bit colder. And it was funny like everyone that we saw having coffee this morning at that little cafe was wearing like toots and jackets and stuff because like, that's cold for Australia. And I'm like, Psst. Canadians are way tougher. Just saying. Okay, quick little fit check. I'm probably gonna freeze, but I'm wearing this really cute little like mini dress from Hello Molly. Just a white shirt, my purse, and then I paired it with <coughs> green Converse shoes because I thought that'd be cute, but again, Probably gonna freeze, so here we go. Okay, charcuterie is packed, ready to go. Chris chopped up the tomatoes, they're in there. Um, and then all the meat and stuff's in here too. And we're just gonna kind of like have it in the car and then we can just set it up wherever we find a nice spot. And that's our snacks for the afternoon for our wine touring. We are en route. We're using this map to find the best wineries because the lady at the winery we went to yesterday gave it to us and she like circled some of the best ones. So 
that's what we're doing. The one we're going to first, well, is called... House of Cards. Oh yeah, House of Cards. <laughs> I swear, I'm having like brain farts. I start talking and I don't remember what I'm gonna say. House of Cards and then right next to it, there's one called Window Cellar, I think, and it's right next to the chocolate place. We might pop in there too. Okay, that was House of Cards, winery number one. We've got a bottle of, they had like a cider. It was, it was what, like made the same way as the, ow. Look, it's got a cute label. Other side, yeah. It was like the same, made the same way as their wine, except for it was a cider. It was, it's only 8% and it's very delicious. Next stop is the chocolate place. It's called Gabriel Chocolate. It's literally next door, so we're just walking over now. A few freebies from memory. Yeah, I got a, oh yeah, some samples. Got to sample them all. This looks so good. Dark as well. Okay, we just sampled a bunch of chocolates. I didn't really take a bunch of footage because I didn't want to freak the guy out, but <laughs> we actually just learned a lot about chocolate. Oh my yeah. gosh, these leaves are <laughs> actual fall here. I always um, forget that chocolate's actually is from a tree <laughs> and like you get different flavors, fruity, nutty. Yeah, some of them were like fruity, some were nutty. We tasted milk chocolate, dark chocolate. It's very good, very delicious. A nice little break from the wines, but I think we're ready for some more wine now. All right, next stop it was literally across. We didn't even have to go on the main road. It's just right across. It's called Windows Estate. Looks V cute. Go check out their wines. Chessboard. Really? Where? Hmm, I don't see it. There's said chessboard. Oh, I wish these clouds would go away. It's starting to get windy. Okay, we were desperately searching for somewhere to pull over and have our charcuterie because this one is a hangry mofo. But we ended up in another water. <laughs> <laughs> He's so hangry. He was like, I'm gonna pull over. I'm gonna start eating the cheese in the car. Anyways, we pulled over to this winery because we just thought maybe they would have like a picnic bench outside or something. They don't, but it's a very, very cute winery. So we're probably just gonna go do a tasting here and maybe we can ask them if we can use one of their All right, let's do it. outdoor tables. He's angry. Guard dog. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's a nice spot. boy has selected a spot for us to eat and it is here so we will make the most of it it's actually not that windy down here it's pretty good charcuterie turned out really good just eating a carrot oh this is literally peeing behind me love that anyways this looks really good Cheese board, 10 out of 10. Wind and weather, 
Negative five. Negative five? At least it's not raining, I guess. It's pretty chilly. I have goosebumps. Could you get for a summer, little summer dress in the middle of well, coming into winter? Excuse me, I thought I was in Australia. Yeah. Oh, shish. Harry, it's starting to rain. We're just heading into Walsh and Sons. We're tasting. Ah, it's pouring. We got inside at just the right time because it is absolutely pouring right now. Okay, we made it back to the car and we got a little bit wet on the way. And we're heading back to our Airbnb now. It is nasty outside. It's raining, it's gray. It's gross and I'm very sad about it because I was low-key hoping that a sunset would happen, but it's not going to. So we're just going to go back and change into our comfies and hang out and probably have a glass of this cider that we bought, like the apple one from the first place. And Get pub. yeah, we're going to the pub for dinner later. I'm not hungry now because we just ate some shakoots, but we'll go later tonight. I just feel so lost when there's no sunset. I don't know what to do with myself because it's just light and then it's dark and no in between. You know what I'm saying? It like celebrates know. the end of the day. Yeah, it does. Anyways, maybe I'm psychotic. You got an hour. Why am I still happy? I literally can't even see any blue. It's all gray, but I like your optimism. I appreciate it. We're just walking to go get her. We just got takeaway food instead of going out because we realized all of a sudden that the place we were going to eat at closes at, their kitchen closes at 8. So we are walking to get a pizza. It's windy. It's cold. And I'm a little bit drunk. Would be lying if I said I wasn't. Oh! Is this way? Secured the goods. And yes, we are having pizza again in case you were wondering. Judging or us. <laughs> judge Two nights in a row. We also like panic. our pizza we made it back in the dark here's a look at it in the light okay to be fair this one actually looks gluten-free it's got like the classic thin crust but the ones that we got yesterday I don't even remember Chris do you remember what that place was called it was uh, in Dunsboro like we had to drive like pretty far the bungalow oh yeah the bungalow yeah their pizzas are really good and they did not look gluten-free like when I was eating it I was like am I gonna pass away tomorrow and same with the one the one on Rottnest that we had was the same. And the one in Byron Bay. Like the pizzas in Australia are just next level. The gluten-free pizzas. And I don't know what they do, what kind of flour they use, but Good shit. Canada needs to figure that out because it's not it's better than cardboard here. <laughs> you just said it yourself. It's not cardboard in Canada. It's better here, Pretty but close. it's not cardboard. Okay. Alright. 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 By the way, tonight's pizza is pumpkin, feta, and I feel like there's like pumpkin seeds on there. It's kind of like random, but... They call them pepitas. Yeah, sorry, pepitas, not sunflower seeds. But yeah, it looks kind of good. Good morning. It is Sunday today. I just had a shower. We both just like fully crashed last night. I actually fell asleep on the couch watching Manifest and... Yeah, so we just had a pretty early night. I think we were asleep by like 10.30 or 11. And today we're just kind of getting packed up and we have to drive back to Perth today because our flight back to Sydney is tonight or I guess it's this afternoon. So yeah, not a very exciting day today. Just a lot of traveling, but it'll be kind of nice to get back over to Port Macquarie and have some home cooked meals because I can't eat pizza anymore. <laughs> okay, we're all cleaned up and ready to check out. And I know I look really cute right now. There's a bakery in town that looks really epic that we're gonna go have a little look at. Morning! <laughs> um, I can't believe I'm going out in public like this, but we're getting coffee first before we go to the bakery. This place is called Sea Garden Cafe and it's really cute. 
it's right on the coast. There's tons of surfboards and stuff. It's so cute. Look at all the boards. Well, getting coffee there took half an hour. But we had to wait so long for the coffee, but it was so cute in there and the food looked really good. So next time, it was called the Sea Garden Cafe. Yeah. Next time we come, we're definitely gonna eat breakfast there. And the view was so nice too. Guzman y Gomez and I've been wanting to go here like pretty much the entire time we've been in Australia. I think I have it like hyped up in my head. It's basically just like Chipotle, <laughs> but Australia's virgin, but I'm just very excited for a burrito bowl. Well, I already ate my burrito bowl because I forgot to add anything into it, so it was very disappointing. Anyways, moving on. We're almost back in Perth. Well, we're back in Perth. We're almost at the airport now, and it's time to say goodbye to the bowling bowl. Cheers. But yeah, we wish we had more time in Margaret River, especially when you get one day with bad weather. <laughs> Like, makes your trip really short, but next time we'll be back for longer for sure. And there's so many cool beaches and stuff. Like, 